You acted as a child, didn't you? I yes, I did. Not that successfully, but I did. What I, do you mean not that? I mean, I just I wasn't I wasn't very good. I was I would get nervous. I did. Uh, I had a small little stint on The Guiding Light mm -hmm. soap opera mm -hmm. uh, when I was about 15, mm -hmm. and I just really was bad. I was really, I was, I, I played the son of the chief of surgery. They brought me in for like two days. It was like a Christmas vacation uh, episode. And the guy, I had to do a scene where I'm playing chess with my dad and I didn't play chess. I didn't, I didn't know it at all. And so the actor, before we did the scene, they do it really quick. You know, they do like a whole hour show in a day. So in the rehearsal, he said, okay, I'm gonna move my pawn and take your queen. And then, you know, you can move your bishop and uh, that'll be the scene, you know, then we'll go into the scene. And, and they called action and I just froze up and I, I freaked out and I just started moving pieces. <laughs> like, and I, this I, is hungry, yeah, hungry hippos. Yeah, I threw the rook across the room. <laughs> did, and, you, uh, did you have a line or anything? I had one, I had one line. I had to say, good night, Eve. And uh, it really was hard. I, it really was hard. Really? I, yeah, my sister still makes fun of me for how I said it. Really? Yeah. Because, you know, sometimes they say having just one line is harder than having a lot of lines yes. because you can overthink it. I think having any lines for me would have been hard on the show. And so, yeah, and I tried to make it maybe like it was part of the characters, you know, like he, he has panic attacks when he says goodnight. But um, <laughs> they, they, didn't, they didn't work that backstory into it. So, uh, and, then, uh, and then the next year they brought the character back, but they, uh, they brought a different actor in. Oh, that's yes. tough. And apparently when he'd gone to college and he came back and he was about six inches taller, he had blonde hair and was Gentile. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of things happen yes. in college. Well, that you know, can happen. Just changing time. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, the movie The Watch. Uh, yes. A lot of very, a very funny idea, a lot of very funny stuff in the movie. Uh, you play a Costco manager. Yes, I play, yes I play a Costco manager, and, uh, which was fun because we actually got to shoot in a Costco, which was like a dream come true. This giant, you know, it was amazing. Everything was fake, but it was still, we were in this place. And, you know, and, and it was great because Costco let us use their name and, 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 you know, the logo and everything without charging us any money or oh. having to do any endorsements, which was great. You know, it just shows you what a quality company Costco is. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, you no, know, some superstores, you know, the consumer's just faceless, but at Costco, every customer's family. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. That's the it great thing. Kind of sounds like you're endorsing Costco. No, Conan, I'm not. <laughs> they, don't, they don't need me to endorse them. I mean, everybody knows Costco is your one-stop shop. <laughs> clothing, housewares, electronics, right? Groceries. <laughs> and they match any price point. I mean, if you're a millionaire like yourself or just a guy like Andy, you know, <laughs> they're, gonna, they're gonna work with your budget. Yeah. Now you've won me over. Costco yeah. sounds fantastic. It's a wonderful you, place. You've obviously been bought off with gallons of mustard. <laughs> Those super tubs full. Yes. No, it's a good place. It's a really good place, yeah. Costco. I hope I get in on this. Whatever you're getting, I hope they give me a taste. Uh,